that is after they were eliminated from the uh, CAFA African Champions League. They eliminated the Super Sport. They scored one goal at home, one nil went away. Went away. They lost 2-1. But impressively, they had that one away goal that was uh, scored by Francis Kahata. Their tactician is a confident man saying, we have been struggling. We need to put our house in order because we want to go in the group stages on a high, saying that we can go all the way and just maybe be able to secure that title. Kenyan Premier League champions Gourmet he jetted back into the country from South Africa after securing a place in the CAF Confederations Cup group stages. Kogalo eliminated 2017 finalist Super Sport United on away goal rule following a 2 2 aggregate score. I said to the players, you know, well, let, let's start a new chapter. You know, we've had the history 30 years ago. We, uh, we, 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 we needed this. Kenyan football needed this. Kenyan sport needed this. And I said to the players before the game, if they score a goal, we've got to react. And th that's all you can do. The preparations, they were terrible, but we deal with it. We have to deal with it because we know our situation in the football club. We know with no sponsor and, you know, we have to thank the governor for his... His, generation, his, his generosity. In. Midfield maestro Francis Kahata scored the decisive goal for Gormahia after Harun Shakava's own goal had given Matasansa a lifeline. And, and this season we've got a very, very good squad. They've grown up, they've become better players, better personalities. And the, the big thing I learned yesterday, we've got character because it was tough. It was tough. We, we knew it was going to be tough because they had to score a goal. And the, the, the way that they handled the pressure was fantastic. We conceded two goals, which we, we don't really concede them kind of goals. But like I said, at the game, they're going to score. Despite the challenges, the team first before traveling to South Africa for their return leg, tactician Dylan Kerr believes his charges are focused and ready for their next challenge. It was tough. We didn't have the look against Machakos, but we had a bit of luck yesterday. And... You know, all I can say is I'm proud of the proud of the players, proud of my chairman and everybody who's worked really, really hard to get us to the position where we've we've qualified for confederations group stages. So mimi na pena changamoto kwa viongozi wenzangu tuache siasa kwa soka waje tuungane tuweke morali ya timu zetu zote. Timu zikipata morali facilitation uh, allowance vizuri zinaweza enda mbali sana. Gormahia will now await the draw for group stage to be held on Saturday in Cairo, Egypt to know their next three opponents. A lot is expected from Gormai, and they've shown the world that they have the medal actually winning against uh, Supersport United, and that is in the home leg. And going away, losing 2-1, but proceeding to the next round, it is an impressive uh, display for Gormai, a team that have been uh, struggling. Maybe one might say the management issues are not how they're supposed to be, because how do you get visas that late for an important a game as that a game that uh, they had to go and play in South Africa. What's your take on that? First of all, hearty congratulations to Gor Mahia and their legion of fans. <laughs> but obviously, in, when they're out there on continental duty, we are all, each one of us, 45 or 50 million of us Kenyans, uh, those in Kenya and those in the diaspora, well represented by them, so we are all their fans. So congratulations are in order. Secondly, then, then there's the issue you've just mentioned of, I'll call it mismanagement as opposed to management. It dominated the media, especially social media. There's, it first came out as an issue to do with less, late visa applications. Now, when you know you're going to a country like South Africa, which requires Kenyan citizens to apply for visas, and given that Gormaya knew about their traveling to South Africa beforehand, well beforehand, they should have made the applications earlier. But it seems we are a last-minute nation. Then there was also the second, the second issue that came out, which was the issue of finances, as Mr. Dylan Kerr, the Gormaya tactician, has just mentioned. And Governor Sonko came through, which reminds me of the conversation we had with you right here exactly two weeks ago about sponsorship. It's sad, because it shouldn't come down to Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko sponsoring them. Thank you, Mr. Sonko, for sponsoring them. But they should have a sponsor, and they more or less had a sponsor through Sports Pesa who pulled out after there were issues to do with them asking for some tax leniency from the government and the government putting his foot down and saying no. You see, now these are the kind of stalemates mm -hmm. that happen, anumpas, unnecessarily. 
what would have happened if Governor Sonko didn't come through? So I know we'll embarrassment galore. We will continue with that conversation. And uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, people use uh, different uh, strategies uh, to do their PR. Is it a PR uh, stunt? Is it a genuine uh, support? I know people have uh, different takes on the same. It uh, matters what you believe. Uh, now we'll take a short break. But when we come back very, very quickly, we're going to take a look at the groups uh, that uh, will be ported. Actually, the teams that will be in different uh, ports for the uh, group stages around that will be co conducted. It was supposed to be three now here. It will be at four, so we'll be following and know where God Maya will be. But we'll just take a very quick look at the other teams that have made it. The other 16, 15 teams with God Maya 16 that have made it to the group stages of the Confederation Cup. We have that and much more after this short break.